congratulations on the film, gentlemen. Thank you. I saw some footage this morning. It is wonderful, and that's only a sneak peek, so my anticipation is, is, is even bigger. Um, I wanted to ask you both first about singing. Now, there's an art to singing, and you both are very, very good at the, the singing in the film. Tell me about the discipline of that. Is it, is it different, the voice acting, singing, and stuff like that? Is the discipline different for you guys, or did you, you enjoy it? You tell, because you're the future. <laughs> I've, I've always loved singing um, from a very young age. I've always sung since I was in nursery, three years old, two years old. But um, <laughs> obviously, you have to get the right technique to, um, to achieve high notes, hold long notes. So I remember I had to, vo I had to train my voice. I went two, two times a week. Um, so there was a lot of discipline because I had to get on the tube at 7 a.m. every morning. But I think the final result worked out in the end. Yeah, I think so. Get on the tube at seven in the morning is is not is not fun for your. Yeah, for I mean your, it. It wasn't as bad as a ten year old because I would normally wake up at five thirty anyway. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, Christoph, you played some amazing characters. Um, uh, what is the discipline different for you when you're doing voice acting? Is it a little yeah. bit more freeing? Uh, do you enjoy? Well, no, no, um, there's never anything free about it because you have a script, you know, and you need to. Um, but it's not about freedom anyway, you know. Or you find that maybe you find some freedom, but I, I don't know. I, you know, it's. Um, um, yeah, of course it's different. Um, but then again, every role you play is different anyway, and it, um, the technical restrictions are varied from part to part. So this is just another another element of variation. Yeah. Did you enjoy the uh, the drawings of your character? Because he's got some pretty outrageous hair. Yeah, they, they made models of it, oh, wow. of course, you know, and then that, that is fascinating um, because you meet the person you're supposed to play in materially, so to say. And uh, uh, I'm so always fascinated with Guillermo. He's such an extraordinary filmmaker and storyteller. What, what's it like being directed by him? Because I can imagine as a person, he's got such a personality. But what's it like being directed by him? Is he as nice as a director as he is as a, as a person? He actually is. Um, I found it very simple to work with him because I found stuff obviously quite nerve-wracking um, for me because uh, it's, my first, it's my, my first big movie where I have so much to say. So Guillermo really um, helped me look at things in a different picture and say things and pronounce them the perfect way that Pinocchio would say something. How was it for you working with Guillermo? Because you work with some extraordinary filmmakers. Cause you're a filmmaker yourself. So. He, 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 uh, same thing. He told me how to say things perfectly. So <laughs> that <thing. laughs> That's a good art if you could do that as a director. Um, so, I mean, is this the first time you guys have met? Because obviously doing the voice stuff, you... Well, we, we met in a studio here in Abbey Road once, yeah. briefly. Yeah, we just passed by because he finished his session and I started. Yeah. Or the other way around. Is that, is that, is that a strange for you, obviously, because this is kind of new for you did you have to do a lot of this by yourself with Guillermo and obviously I presume you've done a lot of it during the restrictions of the, the pandemic and everything as well well yeah in the height of Covid um, I actually got sent recording equipment to my house and we had a technician come mm. set it up mm. and and we had we had everything in my house I had a little helmet around me with the microphone and I think part of the movie was filmed in my house in London <laughs> I think a lot of people have done that during the pandemic. I spoke yeah. to a lot of anime people and they're in their, in their cupboards with like Yeah, we had to things put over them. duvets on all of the walls. It was a great experience. It was very fun. And there's a fantastic cast in this as well. I mean, you and everybody else. Have you got, have you got to meet any of, of those guys? Because you've obviously got the honour of meeting Christoph today. Have you I've, met all the other guys as well? I've met almost, almost everyone. I remember I worked with, um, I worked with Finn for some, of the, for some of the scenes. I worked with David Bradley, who, pay, who plays Geppetto quite a lot. Um, and obviously I've met people passing through uh, their recording after mine or before mine, so briefly. That must be good for a young actor to have, yeah. to rub shoulders with all those guys and get mm -hmm. a bit of experience. Are you doing it right now <laughs> with, Chris, with, with a two-time Oscar winner? Yeah. <laughs> uh, guys, thank you so, so much for your time. I'm really glad to be talking to you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Good luck with the thank film. You. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you 